Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a grid pattern in Photoshop. If you would like the design files for this tutorial, uh, be sure to uh, check out my Patreon page where I upload all of the uh, design files for um, all of my tutorials here on YouTube. If you'd like to uh, support this channel, go ahead and check that out and I will leave a link to uh, my Patreon page in the description below. To start off with, let's go ahead and create a new document. So we'll select a new file here. For this, I'm gonna use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels, resolution set to 300 pixels per inch, color mode is RGB color, background content set to transparent. I'm gonna go ahead and click on create. So to create our grid pattern, we need to uh, create a line. To access the line tool, I'm gonna hit U on the keyboard. Currently it's on the ellipse tool. And so to uh, toggle between the different uh, shape tools here, you're gonna go shift U until you see uh, the line tool here. You can also right click and then select the tool that you want to use. We're gonna draw a straight line here. So I'm just gonna hit the shift key, holding it down and then just clicking and dragging and that will constrain it to perfectly up and down and then just letting go here. Currently we have a fill set so I'm going to turn off my fill and then I'm going to bring up a stroke. To start off with I'm going to make this a really big line so let's go um, 600 pixels here and then I'm going to convert this into a smart object. So I'm going to right click convert to smart object Clicking on my smart object here, I'm going to make it smaller. We're going to go uh, down to 50 pixels here. And I just did that. That way you can uh, play with how um, wide your line is uh, using the smart object and it makes it easy to um, adjust that size here. So now that we have it at 50 pixels, a skinnier line here, I'm going to go ahead and save this. Command or Control S. And then I'm going to go Command or Control W to uh, close it out here. We have our line here and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it is centered on the canvas. To do this, I'm going to use uh, one of my actions from my Photoshop actions for pattern design. So we'll just go ahead and click on that uh, action here to center that object. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer, Command or Control J. And then I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. You can go Command or Control T and enter your uh, rotation value here. Or I'm just going to use, uh, again, one of my actions here and just rotate it 90 degrees here. So we have our grid pattern here. Next, we need to define it. So I'm going to go to Edit, uh, Define Pattern here. You can give uh, your pattern a name and I'm going to go ahead and just call it a uh, grid here and then just clicking on OK. And uh, next, let's go ahead and test out this pattern. So I'm going to open a new document. So we have file new. This time I'm going to use dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, which is 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. Resolution set to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color and then we'll just leave um, background content set to transparent and then just clicking on create. From here I'm going to use uh, one of my actions here called pattern test and what that does is it just brings up a color fill adjustment layer, a pattern fill adjustment layer, and a, another color fill adjustment layer for our background color. To access these adjustment layers, you can go to this icon here and select solid color or you can select a pattern adjustment layer. Selecting my pattern fill layer, I'm going to jump to my patterns window. If you do not see this, you can go to window and select patterns. Here highlighted in blue, we can see our newly created pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and select that pattern here. When you click on the pattern fill layer, you can scale it down. So uh, let's go ahead and scale it down to 50%. Um, still not small enough, so we'll go even smaller here. Let's try a 10% scale here. So just a nice uh, small grid here. With this dialog box open, you can always uh, rearrange how uh, this is positioned on your canvas. To get back to the original, you just click on Snap to Origin. And then we'll go ahead and click on OK. 
To save it at this scale here, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the visibility of this background layer, and then I'm going to uh, define the pattern. Again, you can go to Edit Define Pattern, uh, but I also have a action for that. So I'm just going to click on the action here to define my pattern. We can see the new pattern here. Turning back on my background layer, I'm going to uh, double click on this pattern fill layer. We're going to scale this back up to 100% and then we'll test our new pattern here. And we now have our grid pattern at the scale that we want. Here on the color fill layer, you could always change the uh, background color here. Um, selecting the color, you can double click on this color fill layer. And then we are going to try white here, FFF, clicking on OK. With this pattern fill layer, you always have the option to um, play with the opacity of it. So if we bring it down to 50% here, we get more of a, a two-tone effect here uh, with our color. Jumping back into uh, the original document here, because we used smart objects, we can change the thickness of our line. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on my smart object here. And this time, let's make it a little bit thicker. So let's try 100 pixels. We'll go ahead and save that. Command or Control S, closing out Command or Control W. And because we saved this as a smart object before we duplicate it, it automatically adjusts it for the horizontal line here as well. So let's go ahead and define this pattern using the action here, and then we'll test it in our document. So we'll, with the pattern fill layer selected, we'll select this new layer, double clicking. Let's go ahead and scale that down to the 10% here again, and go ahead and turn off these color fill layers. And then we'll also switch this opacity back to 100% here. And then let's go ahead and define this pattern. So we have our newly created pattern here. We'll double click back in. We'll bring this back up to 100%. We can bring back our color fill layers here. Testing our pattern. We have our thicker lines and then you can compare it to the thinner lines. So you can decide if you like maybe more of a thicker, we can bring this back to a 50% opacity to get that more subtle two-tone effect here. And then you could just see you have it now at two uh, different thicknesses of line there. So that's one of the benefits of using the smart object is you can easily adjust the thickness of your line um, in your pattern there. To save this as digital scrapbook paper, you're going to go to File, Export, Export As. Here under File Settings, you can hit the drop down arrow and just make sure you have JPEG selected here. And then just scrolling down to Color Space, I like to uh, make sure Embed Color Profile is selected and then you just can click to export your pattern. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a grid pattern in Photoshop. In this video, I used my Photoshop actions for pattern design. There are three ways you can get your hands on these actions. I do have a video here on YouTube on how to create these actions for yourself. It is about 30 minutes long, and I will leave a link to that in the description below. If you want to start using these actions now, you can purchase them from my Etsy shop. Also, if you join me over on Patreon, they are one of the bonus content you can get when you join me over on Patreon, and I will leave a link to that in the description below. Again, if you want access to all the design files for my tutorials, then you can join me over on Patreon. Thank you for the support. It helps me to keep making these tutorials. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.